Hi, I'm Lam. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we are talking about the new brown collection by Huda Beauty, specifically the chocolate, chocolate brown. brown eyeshadow palette. Eyeshadow palette. Eyeshadow palette. Let's start. Every time she releases these smaller palettes, she goes with three different palettes, apparently. So one is lighter, one is medium, one is deeper. And this chocolate brown is the deepest one. I do like that. I think there's something for everyone. I do like that. It's really small. There are only nine shades. It's very travel friendly. And I do like the depth that it seemed to have in the photos. But we'll test today if the formula is nice, if the quality can compete with other palettes from other brands in Sephora or the luxurious brands out there. Before we begin, if you like this kind of videos, if you like my content, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notification button so you will be notified whenever I post my weekly videos. Also, don't forget to... S <sighs> I am tired today. What was I saying? Don't forget to follow my Instagram accounts. I have one beauty account and one personal account. I will link them all down below in the description box along with similar videos you might enjoy and of course the product information. Also, there's timestamp in this video so you can navigate to the part that you are interested in. I want to give you a little bit of my thoughts on the three palettes and then we're going to talk a little bit about this palette. We're going to do some swatches, of course, and we are going to do a demo where I show you how I do this look and then we'll have our usual final thought. They are retailing for $29 each and there is a chocolate palette, there is a toffee palette, and there is a caramel palette. Let me tell you, the toffee palette is a more mustardy, of course, it's the lightest of all of them. It's mustardy, it's pretty neutral, leaning warm, a little orangey. And the caramel palette is very, very corally, orangey, intense, warm. That This is the most warmest palette of all the three and then the chocolate palette which is the one i have is the more reddish chocolatey brown kind of shade and it seems to have a very nice depth is it is the deepest of all three based on the photos it doesn't say that this is a limited edition so i am happy about that that's why i bought it if it was a limited edition i wouldn't have bought it because we don't like limited edition in this channel we like things that can be talked about years to come. Luckily, this is not the case, so Huda Beauty, great job. Description. This is a highly pigmented mini eyeshadow palette featuring nine velvety hues in four detectable finishes that look ravishing on every skin tone. It is cruelty-free. Oh wow, this is a magical description again. Brown never looked so good. With divine squirrels of toffee, caramel, and chocolate, brown obsessions features velvety smooth powders, intense metallic, buttery marble cream shimmers, and an irresistible new pearl flake texture. They'll take you from daytime soft and sweet to after dark rich and smoky. In this particular chocolate brown, I think we have three formulas out of the four. Of course, we have the traditional matte, and then we have the traditional shimmer, pearl texture. You can see it's a shimmer bronze, but there are pearls of pink in there. You can see clearer in this shade right here. It's a deep purple, kind of shimmery with the very intensely pink shimmer pearls in them. I think this is a cool concept. I have yet to try out the squirrely kind of shimmer formulas, but they're not existing in this palette. They are existing in the other two palettes in the collection. This palette is made in China. The expiration date is 24 months. It's the total of 7.5 grams or 0.26 ounce of product. That is all the information of this palette. Let's go right into the swatches 
and comparison. All right, let's get this jacket off for the swatches. <gasps> I'm ready. Now, this is me showing you I'm having a clean hand. We're gonna do left to right, top row to bottom row. The first row right now. One matte, one shimmer, and one sparkled infused shimmer. The matte feels heaven. And, well, not these two. These two shimmers are probably the flops of the palette. Yes. The second row... I just watched the shim, the most metallic shade in this palette. Yeah, that row was much better. You can see it's so crumbly because of all the metallicness of it. These two mattes are great as well. This is the last row. Yep, two mattes, one shimmer. The shimmer is pretty good, and the two mattes are great, especially the eggplant dark purple. I love that shade. Now is the demo part. This is me again showing you that I did test out this Huda Beauty Loose Setting Powder. And it is very good. It's not as mad as, as I thought it would be. And now this is the main character. Miss Chocolate Brown. Brown. Oh, this is me struggling. Yeah, I got it. Now the first shade I'm going to use is shade number one. A muted terracotta kind of like a pinkish shade, beautiful. Of course, as I thought, very easy to use and blend out. This one right now in the outer corner, oops, here's me looking for the pigment. <sighs> this shade is kind of sad to be honest. Now we do that for the lower lash line as well, but only the ha outer half. Now we're grabbing the shimmer. This is a traditional shimmer shade. And this is me again, looking for the pigment. Oh. It's there, but it's not as good. See, even with the finger, it's not really shimmery. I think it's already developing hard pan at this point. Now I'm trying out another shimmer shade. This is the most sparkling shade when we swatch it. Um, and this has a little bit of... Uh, pink sparkles in it. And now it's another traditional shimmer just to highlight the inner corner. Okay, and now we get a very tiny liner brush dip into the deepest shade. It's not as deep um, in the skin, but you can definitely build it up, I can tell. And this is the finished look. They already kind of developing hard pan, especially this one right here. Like it barely has any pigment anymore. I only use it once on my eye and now I'm swatching, but it's really, really weak. And you can see, although it looks like it has some pigmentation, there's barely any shine to it. And the same goes for this one right here, the one with the marble. You would think that it's going to be very, very shimmery, but it's not. It's more of like a velvety um, kind of finish. It's not even a shimmer finish. So I don't know if that's intentional, um, but at least that's what I've been experiencing. So the matte formula is the star of this palette. The shimmers, not so much. I do like the depth. I like the variety of colors. You have a little bit of warmer tones, you have a little bit of purple, you have a little bit of very intense velvety. You can see these two shades are almost like matte. When I look at this palette on the images, I immediately think of a very very affordable palette that I love and that is the Wild Child palette from Colourpop. I recently did a review of this palette and I compare it to the classic going coconuts i will link it up here and down below in the description box i can never say that word so there are four different shades in the wild child and in the chocolate brown that i want to compare the first one is this middle shade right here which is this shade this one is comparable so let's swatch it right off the bat the formula seems very very similar they are not the same, 
Wild Child is more beigey and this one is a little bit more pink. This one is deeper. This one is pretty light. The second shade I want to compare it's this orangey shade right here. I'm going to swatch it against this Ground Crew. Ground Crew from Wild Child is right here. And it is a little bit lighter than the shade in the chocolate brown, but they're both having the same undertone, so pretty similar there. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to tell the differences in your eyelid when you blend the colors out, so I would say these two are very, very close dupes. Now, the third shade I want to compare is this purple, Feisty. Feisty is a lot more neutral. The one from the chocolate is clearly more eggplant, purplish. And this one is more like a grayish brown, but again, very close. I do like the shade in this one more than this though, because it's a little bit more unique, if you will. Last but not least, these two shades are pretty similar to Fierce in Wild Child. This is Fierce from Wild Child. You can see the texture is very, very similar to this shade. They are both grumbly and very, very metallic. This one is a lot lighter in texture and less shimmery and like a little bit thinner in formula. These two, extremely similar, both in tones and in the texture. For comparison's sake, the formulas of the matte in both of the Wild Child and the Chocolate Browns are very, very similar. They're both very creamy and blendable and pigmented, and they're a dream to work with. The formula for the shimmer slash metallic, the Wild Child, a lot more intense. You can see, again, this one is the from the Wild Child, and this one is a very similar shade from the Chocolate Brown, but this one is just a lot easier to work with. It's layered beautifully on top of itself, and you can build up the depth. I don't know, I just feel like it's... <sighs> what I was gonna say before my camera died was that the Wild Child palette is a lot cheaper and it performs just as well, if not better, in some of the shades. I would say the Wild Child palette is a great dupe and a great alternative. If you already have the Wild Child palette, you do not need the chocolate brown palette from Huda Beauty. The packaging I do like is a very sturdy. It's a lot smaller than the Wild Child. It's a little bit difficult to open the hinge right here, but it does snap shut and it stay secure. Five out of nine shades are matte because I do like the matte formula in here. The shimmer I don't like so much. This is the first Huda Beauty palette I have purchased in a long time. My latest one was the Moth Obsession, the small one too. And I felt like that one, I had so much fun with it and I didn't have any problem with the um, shimmer developing hard pan after the first use. Yeah, because it's Huda Beauty and I expect better from her brand. Um, but I only have one of the three palettes and this is the only one palette from Huda that I had in a long time. So I can't speak for the entire brand, but let me know in the comment section what you think of her shimmer formula. Why is it doing this to me? Let's focus on the positive side. The mattes are stunning. I love the variety of mattes you have in here, and I like the depth. The color theme, it's, of course, you can see ColourPop already has one that's very similar to this. It's not new, and because it is not a new, innovative color story, I was expecting a lot from the formula, and yeah, and you know the rest of the story. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you find it helpful and I hope it's not a thousand years long again. Like this video, subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. I hope you have a wonderful day. Until next time, don't flop.